Hello Willow Creek fans, this is Tony and we're coming live to you from uh, an estate we're calling Fabulous and Fairway and you're getting ready to see here in a few minutes why. Uh, the reason we're showing you the outside of this house is it is for sale and if you're very interested in it then you need to contact the realtor Josh Taylor about uh, taking a personal view of this house. So if you would like to come with me, we'll come on in. Karen, you can say hi to everybody. Hey everybody, good morning. trying to be the gentleman here <laughs> so we're going to start off um, what you're going to notice about this house is it was done by a designer and we've got a lot of high-end items uh, throughout the house so we'll start off in the living room or the setting area as I would probably call it and then we'll just take a tour of the entire house so in this room we actually have uh, well all the sofas in here are actually uh, probably never been used. This is a uh, Clayton Marcus couch, and or uh, I would say sectional, and it's quite beautiful. Um, these are in excellent condition. When you lift up the covers, you can tell that there's hardly any usage whatsoever. We have some beautiful mirrors. We have a lot of craft teak furniture throughout this house. Um, we have these beautiful chairs here. Um, and like I said, this whole house was done by a designer for the client that lived here. So if you'll head this way, um, and you might want to show them this. This is absolutely a beautiful mirror here in the foyer. Um, and we have a beautiful little moon table, half moon table right here. Um, then we're going to head this way. And if I get off track, Karen, you got to let me know. <laughs> oh, you know I will. Um, so let's start right here so they can see this. Uh, for those collectors of Pete Buckley Moss, you're going to be ready to see a ton of pictures here. Most of them are all signed. There's some of them that are in the um, 250 range, which would, I mean not by price wise, but that was all the prints that were done. So uh, those are quite rare to find. Uh, and of course they go all the way up to the 3000 run on the prints as well. So we'll come to the master bedroom. Um, unfortunately in the master bedroom, the bedroom furniture is not for sale. The family has chosen to keep that. However, we do have some beautiful wingback chairs uh, in this room. Uh, we have a lot of Thomas Kincaid paintings here is, or prints of his. This is uh, of the Biltmore House, um, and they are all in excellent condition. And like I said, we have some beautiful mirrors throughout this entire estate. I'm going to take you into the bathroom. Um, and the reason I'm highlighting the bathroom is we have a lot of brand new makeup from Chanel, lots of it, and if any of you all have, um, or any of the ladies ever bought this, then you can realize how expensive this is. This has never been used. Uh, we have a lot of high-end makeup throughout uh, this estate. And now we're gonna go to the closet. And probably, also this TV is for sale. Every TV you see in the estate is for sale. I'll probably let Karen do a little talking here as we walk into this room uh, so she can explain some of the clothing. So guys, in this room, this is a lot of high-end clothing, a lot of things still with the price tags on it, um, a lot of designer <coughs> things. I have Chanel, I have St. John, um, just just a variety and I have um, anything from everyday wear to evening wear um, just a lot of just absolutely gorgeous things the sizes range from an 8 to a 10 and then shoe sizes are seven and a half to 8 and then I'm gonna pan over here to the other closet I our two closets actually I have a full length fur, um, a lot of jackets. Again, still a lot of things with price tags on them. Um, just, just absolutely gorgeous clothes. And some of the clothing, um, as Karen highlighted, have the price tags on them. Some of them are in the area of 500 all the way up to 1500 uh, for some of the dresses and some of the formal wear. So you'll follow me next. Um, I 
guess I would call this more of a formal living room. Um, I did talk to the designer that did this furniture. She, uh, the, the lady that had this made, uh, this is all custom made furniture um, from the pillows uh, to these chairs. And uh, I like to highlight the back of these chairs. They're absolutely stunning. And then the pillows were made um, in this silk fabric to go along with it. So this is uh, a beautiful, beautiful um, section for a uh, formal living room. And then, um, just as Tony mentioned earlier, none of the bedroom furniture at this house is for sale. The family's decided to keep it. There will be tags on certain items that it's gonna say not for sale, just because um, the family has chosen to keep those pieces and um, they'll remain in the house until the house is sold. So now we're gonna go upstairs. And, uh, and the stairway is absolutely stunning as well. Um, when we get to the top here, you'll see we have a little setting area and all the items here are for sale. And um, we have two beautiful chairs. We also have a painting here that um, is quite lovely as well. So this is all for sale. If you'll follow me, we're going to go into what I would call the picture or print room. Um, and like I said, um, P. Buckley Moss, we have tons of these items. So uh, let's start here first. Okay. Um, this um, is an Italian uh, artist that actually created these pieces. They're actually done in a plastic mold or a, it's kind of a rubbery plastic mold. Most of these pieces, the Fontanini, I think is how you pronounce it, um, we have quite a bit of it, but most of them cost anywhere in the area of 90 to to $100 just for the setups, and the figurines are anywhere from 25 on up to 100 piece if they're signed. We do have a lot of figurines um, in this, and uh, these are based on religious, um, I guess religious... What would you call it? It's just a, a, things from the Bible, religious right. people from the Bible, and scenes from the Bible. We also have some Beanie Babies. She was a big collector of Beanie Babies. We have lots and lots of Beanie Babies, multiple ones of them. Um, from the Happy Meals at McDonald's on up to um, different items that she's just collected. Um, and like I said, P. Buckley Moss, we have lots and lots of them. These are Christmas ones. And they're really cool. Um, we probably have about 10 of those Christmas ones. Every one of them are signed. Most of them are signed within the glass, which is uh, a little higher of an item. Also, stopping right here, here we have probably unframed prints, maybe 20 of them that are signed, most every single one of them by her. Uh, they just haven't been put in frames. We do have some rhythm and roots. We also have some local artists. Um, sh um, the lady had a house in uh, Naples as well. So we've got a lot of beach theme type prints. Every single one of these are signed by the artist. Um, so if you like that type of look, you might be interested in purchasing that. We do have a roll top desk. Um, it is solid oak and it is in uh, good, good condition. I think that's it. That we might. These are old postcards that she actually had framed, and on either side she had them put in glass. You can see where they were sent out years ago and the dates that uh, they were sent in. Most of them are from the early 1900s, so it's kind of a neat um, picture that she had made with these postcards. So Karen, if you'll follow me. So, as Karen said, the furniture in this room is not for sale, but we do have some beautiful things in here. Um, most of all the lamps on this level are Waterford. Um, and if you're in it, if you know anything about Waterford, you're probably talking three to five hundred dollars per lamp. Um, so the small ones are Waterford, the pineapples are Waterford, and then we do have this TV uh, stand which is for sale. It's done in a cherry, 
so or, or mahogany. So if you're if you're looking for something to hide your TV that's small. And then in this room, um, if you like those pinks and blue patterns, um, she had uh, all this furniture up here. Um, it's all in excellent shape, um, but it is in those um, pastel colors, the lighter colors, so um, that might be something you would like to purchase. We do have uh, some really nice coffee tables in here. These are all done in sherry in this room as well. And we do have a lovely pink recliner or yes. mauve. I guess it's mauve. It's mauve, and it is leather. Yeah, it's really, it's in excellent condition. And once again, we have a TV up here, and all the TVs in the home are for sale. Uh, this is a Hinkle Harris piece. Um, so it's, it's beautiful. It's marble. It's done in um, cherry wood. So if you're interested in a nice piece of furniture, this would be something you might want to purchase. Most all the brass in this house is Baldwin Brass, which is a very high-end brass company. So if you like brass and you want the best brass possible, then that's something you might want. Now, oh. welcome to the craft room. Uh, anybody out there that loves to do crafts, make things, um, we have a room for you. Uh, most of the craft items, uh, some of the stencils and things like that, are all brand new. Most of the ribbon have never been even unwrapped. They're all in the packaging. You still see the original price tags on them. So there is tons of stuff. I would say the majority of it is all brand new in this room. So if you like making crafts, scrapbooks, or anything like that, then um, this certainly would be a sale for you. You want to highlight those little cars, toys? Yeah. Um, so we have Caterpillar toys. Um, they collected those. A lot of, uh, I can't find any parts or anything that's broken on these. So if you're a collector of Caterpillar toys or you just like toys in general, this might be uh, something you'd like to purchase. And then we do have another formal dining room table up here. It is done in uh, mahogany. So if you're looking for a nice dining room set, we have one up here. She actually used it to do her crafts on. Okay, and just let me talk a little bit about some of the craft items up here. There are upwards of maybe 2,000 stamps from Stampin' Up! and different um, stamp makers. I have about, I would say, 300 ink pads um, of every color. Um, cardstock for cards, envelopes, um, all kinds of paper. I have <clears throat> pens, pastels, paints, inks, brushes. Uh, as Tony said, the scrapbooking um, items are just phenomenal. We have the paper punchers. Um, just, it, it's just incredible, the collection that is here. And so if you know anybody that is interested in crafting or card making, this is definitely the sale for them. So if you will follow me, Karen, we'll head this way downstairs. So as you noticed before, we do have two stairways in this house. One goes um, to this part of the upstairs and the other one goes to the other section of the upstairs. So each stairway will be open. We do ask that you be careful, use the handrails and uh, safety first. So now we're in the kitchen. I'll let Karen pan around. We do have some kitchen items. We have more in the garage. We didn't want to overload this kitchen with all the kitchen items, but uh, you can see we have some neat uh, different kitchen items. And they were a big Kentucky Derby fan, so they collected the Kentucky Derby glasses when they would go to the Kentucky Derby. I also have some Kentucky Derby uh, pictures as well, or posters. 
So if you are into the derby, then you might want to check on those items as well. Now we're going to head to what I would call the breakfast nook brunch. Um, this little table here with three chairs is for sale. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't think it's ever been set on. I can't find any stains on the seats or anything like that. We absolutely have a gorgeous buffet here. Um, it's quite it's, lovely. It is beautiful. I mean, it's it just is. stunning. And it is solid wood and it's very, very heavy. So if you end up buying this, make sure you bring about five people to help <laughs> you with it. Um, this mirror also, this is solid wood. Uh, looks to be Italian. So uh, if you're looking for a beautiful mirror that is not plastic, but actually wood, um, this would be the mirror that you might want to get. Um, then in here, once, a, once again, we have Clayton Marcus uh, sofas. Um, they look to, appear to be in excellent condition and I can't find anything wrong with any of them. Um, we also have some more uh, different little Items, small items, small wear, small things, you know, and once again, this TV, it's 55 inch, is for sale. It looks relatively new. Uh, and then that is, um, all the bookcases here are built in, so they are not for sale. And then, Tony, if you'll open that cabinet, mm -hmm. um, we have several Harley Davidson items that will be um, tucked away over here from helmets to um, just collectibles and, um, Knickknacks, I guess. We have a couple of solid, um, they're very heavy, solid iron um, floor lamps, and there's two that are identical, and so um, those are pretty nice. Then out here in the sitting room, we have some beautiful wicker furniture, and uh, it is real wicker. It's in excellent condition. It appears that. It's not been used a lot, but it's been well taken care of. Um, once again, we have some beautiful lamps. These are not uh, Waterford, but they are beautiful lamps. So we have a lighter section over here, and then over on this side, we have some darker pieces um, that I can't find anything wrong with them. They're just beautiful. And there's an additional piece in the craft room that we um, just decided to leave up there. Right. That matches and once again, this. another Clayton Marcus couch. So we have three of those sofas that are identical, and we have one sectional that matches that. And if you'll follow me, we'll go and look at this other little setting area here. We have two beautiful club chairs. They actually turn. They do the little rocking. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, like I said, I don't think they've ever really been used. Um, it doesn't appear to have anything in the cushions. They're very clean. And then I'll show you the garage area. Um, you will not be coming into the estate sale this way, but we will show you in a few minutes which way you'll be coming in. Out here we have a lot of kitchen items. We do have some more of the NASCAR theme items, um, as well as candles. We have linens. We have some Christmas out here. We will show you in a few minutes more Christmas. We have DVDs, CDs. Unfortunately, there are no albums at this sale. I did not see one album. We have a lot of books, a lot of cookbooks, Southern uh, Living cookbooks. So there's a lot of neat items in uh, this sale uh, that are out here as well. We do have a few tools, not a lot of tools in this sale. Um, so I, I'm not sure what the tools are, but there's not a lot in this sale. Sorry, I've got a little bit of glare since it's so sunny today. sets of china here. There's one on this table. And there's also one in the formal dining room. The reason we didn't go into the formal dining room is the dining room set is not for sale, but there's a lot of beautiful items in the cabinets in there. So if you'll follow me, we will go to where you're going to check out. So 
So, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So we have some beautiful nativity scenes uh, in this estate sale. She really loved these. She collected lots of them. So I would say there's 10 or 15 of those um, very religious uh, pieces. Um, and they look or appear to be in excellent condition. I do have one set of vintage glass balls, which are stunning, and they are in excellent condition that she had. So um, all the Christmas items are really, really neat and very clean and uh, seem to be well taken care of. So with that said, we're going to stop the video here, but let me go through a few things. So this is going to be where you come in and out, which will be the first garage door as you come into the driveway. Parking should be great in this subdivision. There is not a lot of traffic, uh, and actually this is a dead-end street, so there's plenty of parking um, uh, at this estate. Uh, so our hours of operation tomorrow are going to be from 11 to 5. And then on Friday, it will be 9 to 3. And then Saturday will be 8 to 1. So um, we're looking forward to seeing everyone here at this sale. I think you will like what you see. Uh, as always, we do not answer pricing questions on social media. So please do not uh, send those questions to us. Um, and Karen, I think that's it. I think that's it. You did a very nice job today. I mean, you did as well. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow at 11 o'clock.